All right, so lesson 97 is on transversals. So here we have the transversal, W, intersects the parallel lines, X and Y. Remember, the transversal is the line, is just a, a line that intersects two others. Okay, so the first one says, name a pair of corresponding angles. Now, corresponding angles are two angles that are in the same relative position. So for example, A, M, A, and E. They're both in the upper left quadrant of our drawing. So A and E are corresponding angles. So I would say angle A and E. Okay, But it wants me to list all of them. So I would have to say, so A and E are the first ones. Okay, So then the second one, so we have A and E. Okay, So that means B and F. D and H and G and C are all corresponding angles because they're in the same location okay, in my picture. Upper left, upper right, lower left, lower right. Okay? And corresponding angles have to be the same amount. So on B it says name the pairs of alternate interior angles. So first, interior angles are the angles on the inside of my drawing, okay, of my transversal. These are interior angles. So if these ones are interior, interior, that means that these ones are exterior angles. Okay. And then alternate angles are angles that are on the opposite sides of each other, either interior or exterior. So alternate angles would be on the opposite side of the line. So like D and F are alternate, alternate angles. Okay? And if I'm doing exterior, the alternate angles of my exterior ones would be A and G, for example. Okay? They're on the alternate side of the line, either on the exterior part or the interior. Now these angles will also be equal to each other. So B, it wants me to name the alternate interior angles. So those are angles D and F and C and E. Okay. And then name the pairs of alternate exterior angles. That would be A, A and G and then B and H are the alternate exterior angles. Okay. And the last one says if angle A is 115, it wants to know what angle E and F are. So I'm going to first look. So A, and it wants to know what E is. Well, since they're on the same side and they are corresponding angles, I know that they have to be the same amount. So that means angle E is equal to 115 degrees. Okay. Now angle F. Angle F is on the other side of the line here, but I know angle E is 115 degrees. So that means that angle E plus angle F has to equal this straight line, which is 180 degrees. So to solve for it, I'm going to do 180 minus 115 degrees. Okay. Borrow from the eight, 8 becomes a 7, 0 becomes 10, 10 minus 5 is 5, 7 minus 1 is 6, 1 minus 1 is 0. So that means angle F is equal to 65 degrees. Okay. So one more example. Which line in the figure to the right is the transversal? The transversal is a line that goes through. So that means that um, the line is C. Okay. On B, which angle is our alternate interior angle to number 3? So alternate, alternate interior angle, I mean, it's going to be on the opposite of the line, inside, so that's going to be 5. Okay, Which angle corresponds to angle 8? So here's angle 8 here. Corresponding means in the same location, so 8 is in the upper left. So the other one that's in the upper left is number 4. Let's see, angle 4 and angle 5. And the last one is which angle is alternate interior angle 
exterior angle to angle 7. So here's angle 7, and I want the alternate exterior angle, which would be angle 1, opposite side of the line, angle 1. Hey, that's it. Good luck with your homework.